Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. So I've been asked to take a look at the new Arc Lepsip 3D gaming mouse. They just started their Kickstarter campaign now. The link to check that out is in the description below. I highly suggest taking a look. Uh, first and foremost, this is a sponsored video, but my thoughts are my own. If I think it sucks, I will let you know. If I, on the other hand, think it's great and awesome, I will also let you know that too. So with that said, what is the Lexip 3D mouse? Basically, it's a gaming mouse with all the usual features that you would expect. We'll talk about these in a sec, but what makes it special is the inclusion of a joystick on the left-hand side, plus a tilting control feature. Now, the joystick on the side offers similar functionality to a traditional joystick. It's got 30 degrees of tilt in four directions, allowing you to use it for flight or even FPS movements. The tilting shell joystick is an internal mechanism which allows you to tilt the mouse itself using the palm of your hand in four directions. So you've got left, right, forward, backward, giving you another 20 degree tilt in all those directions. Registering 550 individual points, so I would think it's ideal for incremental movements. Both of these features offering alternate control options when entering 3D environments. Now another point of interest is the ADNS 9800 laser, which is good to 8200 DPI. The version I have, I can only get it to 5,040 DPI. It could just be that this is the review version, not the live. It says so on the box, so that's good. Uh, a couple of other buttons on the side, like other mice, and the DPI switch button on the top. It's got ceramic feet for reduced friction, a braided USB cable, plus a control panel software to tweak the feel and functionality, including lighting and sensitivity and so on and so forth. Now, I'm genuinely excited about this mouse, not just for personal use, but for the Star Citizen community. Hardware is always a topic which is constantly discussed of, you know, what people are using. I think many mouse and keyboard users in Star Citizen will love the extra customizability of this, plus offering perhaps a greater degree of movement while flying, maybe helping strafe while landing down on a planet or maybe rolling out of a, a missile's way. I use HOTAS, so it doesn't really suit my style of flying, but having the ability for incremental maneuvers using a mouse may help me flying more than I think, maybe with larger ships. Now, aesthetically, it looks nice, nothing overly unique. It's very similar to other leading mice in the market. The joystick doesn't really look out of place. Uh, it feels comfortable, quite tactile. My only gripe, however, is my hand may either be too small or my positioning doesn't suit. I'm a really lazy gamer, so my natural mouse resting position is towards the back of the mouse. This means that I cannot actually reach the joystick. I can only nudge it with the tip of my thumb. It also means I don't have the full control of the tilt feature. Now that said, my hands measure about 19 centimeters or seven and a half inches. Uh, so for people with larger hands, I don't see this being a problem. Plus, if I just adjust my hand position, something I could probably try and get used to over time, it would probably work better. Now I noticed that the right and left mouse buttons don't extend all the way so my fingertips can rest on the front allowing me to reach the joystick and have better control of the tilt feature. After about two to three hours of Battlefield I felt a slight ache from the adjustment but again it's probably something that I could get used to so if you do have bigger hands or if you have a sort of grip which is more of a I think a claw grip it will probably be suited to you more. Now it comes with the Lexip control panel. This is much like any other software that you would that you would see with higher end type of, uh, of peripherals. You can change the sensitivity, the DPI, you can configure buttons and lighting. One thing I do like, which is similar to my SteelSeries engine, is the option for programmable profiles. Not just that, but the software actually detects what program you are using on the fly and switches between those profiles. So if you tab out of a game uh, and you start using the internet, the profile follows suit, recognizing that you left the game and now it, you're using the browser, adjusting all the buttons and the settings you previously set up, which is actually really refreshing and, and useful. So you just automatically know it will do what you expect it to. Now, in terms of performance, I've not had long enough to really get to grips fully with the mouse. I feel there's a little smoothing, which I am unable to adjust at this time. Plus, I really want to check out how it works with Star Citizen. So I will spend some further time just creating a profile for Star Citizen and seeing if I can incorporate the joystick and the tilt into the game and the flight, which I will create another video later down the line. I will also be using it on streams as I test it out further. So if you do have any burning questions, feel free to head over to twitch.tv forward slash Super Mac Brothers Ryan and ask me live. Remember the Kickstarter campaign has just begun. So if you are interested in learning more, 
follow the link to the description. Be sure to let me know what you think of it. I hope it's something that many Star Citizen mouse and keyboard pilots can utilize better for their skills. I'm sure if you got used to it, it would be something definitely worth trying out. Uh, thank you to Lexit for letting me take a look. I, for one, will be following and watching the campaign as it progresses. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow me here on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter and Instagram. Hit that thumbs up and I shall see you next time.